For the following exercises, determine whether the lines given by the equations below are parallel, perpendicular, or neither parallel nor perpendicular. So in order to come up with the result of whether the equations are parallel, perpendicular, or neither parallel nor perpendicular, we have to compare the slopes. The slopes of these two lines. And then we have to remember that when the slopes are equal, that means that they are indeed parallel lines. When they are something called negative reciprocals, then that means that the lines are perpendicular. And then if the slope falls into neither one of the two categories, well, then it's neither parallel nor perpendicular. All right. So our goal here is to find the slopes of each of these two lines. Let me just erase this to get a little more room. So now I realize that these both represent linear lines. Why? Well, because they have an X and a Y in them, and neither of them are raised to any particular power. All right. They might not look like they're in uh, linear equation form. So all I'm going to do, maybe, I mean, maybe one of them is, but what I'm going to do is try to uh, manipulate these algebraically so that I get it into this particular form. Y is equal to MX plus B. Remember, M represents that slope. So take a look at the first equation. OMG ness. Y is on the left. That's good. X is on the right. That's good. And this is already good to go. So we didn't have to do any manipulation here. So the slope here is the two thirds, right? Now, how about this one? Eh, darn it, right? We got to do something to that. So let's just manipulate that algebraically. So 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. Move the 3x on over to the right. I'm trying to match it up to the y equals mx plus b form. So I know I have the you know y by itself on the left. Then you have 3x then plus 1. And I realize I got to get y by itself. So I got to divide both sides here by 2. So y will now equal negative 3 over 2x plus then 1 half. All right. Now what's the slope? If we notice, right, this is in that uh, nice y-intercept form, basically. And what do we now realize the slope is? Well, the slope here is negative 3 over 2. So positive 2 over 3, negative 3 over 2. Those are indeed negative reciprocals. And therefore, if they're negative reciprocals, the lines are perpendicular. Voila. Now let's run through the next example. So first one already solved for us, so we don't have to do anything. Thank goodness. So 3 fourths is the slope. So now let's take the next equation. Let's solve this bad boy for y. And let's add the 3 on over. Add the 3. X. And we get then 4y is then going to be equal to 3x plus 1. Divide both sides by 4. And we realize now that y is going to be equal to 3 over 4x plus 1 fourth. Remember, you can distribute essentially this 4 over each term in that numerator. Okay? So there's the equation. Now what's the slope? 3 over 4. Okay? So now compare the two slopes. Positive 3 over 4. Positive 3 over 4. And my voice is cracking. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, the, the lines indeed will be then parallel because they, are, they have equal slopes. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. If this helped you at all, help us out. Tell your friends, spread the word, subscribe and like. All right. We uh, look forward to putting out more content for you. Take care.